Hi guys, this is Teddy and welcome back to episode 4 of my challenge survival series. Now today we have got plans guys, yes we have. Now I've got a lot done between episodes, I have been back to the nether, I've got myself a lot of stuff together. And yeah, so we're now at the point I have to get myself a spider farm sorted out. Now I have got a spider farm lined up ready to go, in the sense that I have actually got a spider spawn as we found out. In episode 1 we found a spider spawn and we're mining in our mesa biome. So what I'm going to do, I've got my two buckets of water here. I am going to head over and I am going to get cracking on that because I want to get that done ASAP. And I will see you guys over there. Okay, so though it's not much to really be looking at, it is a spider farm. Basically our spider spawn is just up in there and what I've done is I've put a water bucket in that corner, lift it up. Or a bucket in that corner, lift it up, sunk the floor down a couple of blocks, and the spiders basically flow down into here. And as you can see, guys, we've got some coming in already. Happy days, and we just bosh them like this, and we get ourselves eyes, and we get ourselves a string. Now, I did get a bit excited. I did. I'd been running this for a little while, and in fact, I've already been back over to the villages and traded some of the string up. So I've got loads upon loads of spider eyes. But the string, I've basically got rid of all that already. So, yeah, but this thing, it's a bit grindy. There's no there's no full damage involved. It's just one of them really simple, quick farms where I just sit here doing this. Um, but I did get myself some decent number of levels, and I've got myself a better bow. Yes, guys, I have now got myself a power 4 bow with punch 1, unbreaking, infinity, and flame. Which is going to come in extremely useful, guys. Mainly the infinity part. Mainly the infinity part. So yeah, that's that's the spider farm. I did say it was going to happen. I'm not going to sit here and grind away on this thing for you guys. I'm not even going to bother taking anything else out of our chest for now. So what we're going to do, we're going to head back and we're going to do some more work with our villagers. Because we want to get ourselves more gear and get ourselves ready to fight our ender dragon friend. That's what we want to do. So I'll just come out and you guys can see we were just talking over there. That's our base, just there. And yeah, we're not far away at all from our base. So I'll quickly run back over to the base with you guys with me. And I will head upstairs and I will show you what I got from the nether. Well, not what I've, not what I've got so much, but what I've crafted since I've come back from the nether. Because I have actually crafted myself my eyes of ender already. Where well, we've done that, that's done. So I can't remember exactly how many I've got. I think it's 20 I currently have. Which gives me 12 for the portal and 8 to find the place. So if we hop up here, oh yeah, I also got myself. Um, hello guys. Yes, I've got, they've got three of these friends. Three. Mm. I went back on my good sword. And uh, yeah, one hit kill, one hit kill. I've got 25. I can't imagine that's going to be uh, anywhere close to needing that many. But you know, we've also got ourselves some extra crime obsidian. Uh, a few more obsidian, I've got a soft beat one book, soft beat three boots. I'm actually wearing a pair of them as well because I've got two pairs of those. And yeah, as you can see, my armor is pretty much dead. So, I'm going to head over and sort the villages out now. Um, I'm actually hoping, guys, I'm hoping I'm going to find a zombie villager. And that I can cure up and make my trades better. That's what I really would like to do. So, I'm going to do a bit of um, grinding. Let's just call it grinding. And I'll come back to you guys in a little bit once I've got myself a zombie villager. I'm hoping from the desert. That'd be probably the best place to get one from. Because I don't know. I haven't really seen much of zombie, spawn, uh, zombie villagers in the village area itself. So, yeah, I'll come back to you guys just in a little while once we get ourselves a zombie villager set up. Alrighty, guys. As you can see, I have been just a little bit busy. I am now wearing diamond gear. Um, it, it's, box, it's box standard. I have not done any with this stuff yet, but it's not the point. I have diamond gear, um, thanks to these dudes. And the reason I have diamond gear is because I've got these dudes They're down down to one emerald per 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 item. Just, yeah. Basically, what happened? What happened? What happened? What happened? Is this dude? This is a desert villager. He wandered across from the desert. I put myself in a little bridge in, so it's a solid bridge over there now. And yeah, he wandered over, he came and said hello, we got him uh, healed up, and he offers me now one emerald per stick. So as you guys can see, I've got an XP farm, just from um, trading a few sticks in. 
So if I grab myself a few more, we'd like doing this. This is great fun. Look, one stick, one emerald. Yay! This is a hypey, hypey thing. I love doing this. And, yep, we're back up to level 30, so we can start actually getting some proper enchantments done on other stuff. Yay! Yep. So, yeah, so these guys now are uh, one carrot or one potato per emerald. These dudes now want one piece of coal or one piece of iron per emerald. And, you know, I've got my armor for them, get it from these guys. These guys, now these guys. You remember, remember I had this guy to start with? My mending fella. One emerald for mending. Now, this is awesome. I have now got myself a full set of mending books, which, along with other things, I've got myself this good. Now this dude has also got mending, but he also has efficiency 5. Now this doesn't seem like a big deal, but this is only efficiency 3, this is only efficiency 4. This is quite a big deal to me because this means we can get ourselves um, efficiency 5 gear on everything. We can have shovels, we can have axe, we can have everything efficiency 5. And this is the last stage to get geared up, it really is. Our friend here. He has protection 3 for 1 emerald. Now, the reason I kept this dude, there's a very good reason why I kept this dude. I rolled him through so many times and I couldn't get anything decent to pop up. Um, so, I got protection 3. It was 15 when I got him. I was like, yeah, that'll do. That's 30 emeralds protection 4. That's not too bad. And then, of course, we got him rolled down to 1 with our help from my Fletcher over here. So, let me show you what I've got my hands on. Yeah, guys, we we got lots. I've got bottles of enchanting. That reminds me. Hello, friend. I need I need more of them. I need lots, lots, of lots, of lots, of lots, of lots. Thank you. I'll take the XP. Thank you. Now, one emerald per bottle of enchanting. So it gives you twelve at a time, but I'm currently on thirty-six. So what do we have? We have these are protection three books. I've got four sets. I've got eight books total, so I've got four sets of protection four. So if I do decide to get a helmet, I've got stuff to put on there as well. I've got five efficiency five books, so I've got shovel, shovel, axe, pickaxe, pickaxe, all potato, all efficiency five. And then we've got mending books. I have twelve mending books, which I don't need. I also got a couple of extra pickaxes, and I've got myself quite a few golden carrots from our farmer friend. Now I don't know if his trades are reset yet. They may have done. Are you reset yet? No, you're not quite reset yet. But that's fine. We don't mind that. You'll give me plenty of stuff. On top of that, guys, where everything is so cheap, I, I've got a few emeralds left over. I've, I've got a few. And, I, yeah, when I get to this low sort of level of emerald versus trade, I, I, I go a bit mad. I, I go a bit mad. I've got nearly eight stacks of... Or seven and a half stacks of emeralds at this point in time. Getting on my way to an emerald beacon, even though I don't need an emerald beacon. But it's fine. Once these guys trades actually reset we're still gonna have stuff to be able to buy stuff from them which is the point which is why I'm so excited and rolling through as fast as I can to get more stuff I also have two more golden apples and two more weakest potions so I can actually um, get these guys all set up again as you can see we got we got plenty of stuff to make stuff with too so this is what I actually had over on in my chest in the house this is not from the spider farm um, so yes, we got we got lots of lots and lots of stuff. Uh, we also got a wandering trader over here. I don't suppose you've got anything I particularly need on me, on him. But we'll go and we'll go and have a look. See what he's see what he's offering. Uh, hello, we got anything I want? No, you don't. You got some uh, some blue eyes of six emeralds. Yeah, you know, your buddies in there are way cheaper than you are, don't you? Yeah, you know this. You don't care. No, do you think so? They aren't, they aren't cheap, are they? They're not cheap at all. Anyway, guys, what am I going to do now? I'm going to do a bit more grinding. I am going to do some more grinding because I want to get my levels up. I need to get my levels up. I've got 31 currently. That means I can disenchant and re-enchant a little bit of my armor. But ideally, I'd like to get another pickaxe. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to look at another fortune pickaxe or fortune 3, basically. So, oh, hello. No, nope, that one first. There we go. I'm going to grab a couple of stacks of this because we haven't done this yet. This is something I should be doing, and we're going to we're going to tower up, and then we're going to break it all down again. So yeah, I'll leave you guys there, and I will come back to you guys once I have got myself a bit more geared up. And then I don't really know what to do. Once I'm geared up, I'm going to have golden carrots. I'm going to have my eyes of ender. I'm going to have a sword. I'm going to have a bow. I'm going to have an axe. I'm going to have shovels. I'm going to have pickaxes. 
What else do I need to fight the dragon with? I mean, the only other thing I could do with being geared up with is an elytra, and I really should be getting that after I fight the dragon. But, I did say I was going to fight the dragon fully geared up. I did say I was going to do it fully geared up. So, what I might do, this is a big, big, big thing. I've got five emeralds, uh, five diamonds in here. Well, so we haven't mined a single one. These are from where we went into the um, nether. So, I'm going to turn these into a helmet. And then we're going to go and enchant that helmet. And we'll, so I'm going to see what we're going to get on it first. Let's see what we're going to get. Are we going to get anything good? Thorns 2. No, we won't, we won't even bother humouring that. Because that would be a waste of levels. But what we're going to do, guys, I'm going to grind away. I'm going to get myself some more levels together. I'm going to get myself fortune 3 pickaxe. I'm going to get myself fully kitted up with iron diamond gear that's fully enchanted. And then, I guess, this is going to be a 4 episode season. Maybe. If I don't, you know, if I'm not careful. But... I, I don't think I'm going to have time to do much more than that. Maybe this episode I'll find the stronghold, because I don't think I'm going to have time to fight the dragon and find the stronghold. So, what we'll do, we'll find the stronghold. I want you guys to leave me comments in the bottom, uh, under the video today, of anything else you guys think I'm going to need for the dragon fight. Okay? Anything else you guys think I'm going to need for the dragon fight, after I've been and found the stronghold, let me know. And I will go and get the dragon fight sorted. If you want me, if you want me to go and get the Elytra before I fight the dragon, then definitely let me know that one because I will take about ten stacks of wood with me, and we will go do that. We'll go find the Elytra first. But yeah, hit the comments. Let me know. I want to know, and I'll come back to you guys when I'm fully geared up. Alrighty, guys. As you can see, I'm pretty much geared up. I've got all my diamond gear on, and as you can see, I've now got an Ender chest. Yes, I decided that I was going to get myself some more obsidian, and I'll get myself an ender chest together. Let me just quick run through everything I've got. I've got protection four boots, protection four leggings, protection four chest plates, and a fire protection helmet. Now, this is about as good as it's going to get for me for now. Um, I've still got OP everything now as well, with mending on it, and all that good stuff. I even got myself a decent bow. I'm just missing punch two on that bow, to be fair. Which, to be fair, I could get punch two. If I come and see one of these fellas over here. Hello, fella. So you do a punch one bow. So if I get myself an emerald, we're really quickly. Just like this, get myself one of these little emerald friends. No, wake up. You're, going, you're not going to sleep yet. I want, an, I want, I want one of these. Thank you. Oh, actually, what what arrows do you have? This might come in handy. Oh, invisibility. No. Do you have anything useful? Do you have anything useful? Arrows of instant health could come in handy against the dragon. They could come in very handy against the dragon. I may obtain some of them, but while these guys are sleeping, while these guys are sleeping, I will quickly show you through my ender chest because, as you can see, I have near enough filled it up with stuff I think I'm going to need. Now. Just in case you guys decide to say, I oh, want to go, you want me to go to get myself an Elytra before I fight the Ender Dragon, I've got some rockets. I've got backup gear. Pretty basic, but I've got backup gear. All the basic stuff. I have potions of regen and strength. We've got a Rise of Ender, of course. A couple of spare Ender chests. Ender pearls, which could come very handy. Plenty of food in the form of golden carrots. 16 golden apples and that is all the gold I have left so that's all I can make a bed to take with me and our all-important carved pumpkin now the only addition I am going to put in there is a stack and a half of logs which will fill the gap now the reason for that guys if you decide that you want me to go uh, into the end and get myself an elytra before we fight the dragon I kind of I kind of need this now, bear in mind, I'll be taking a couple of bits out of here before I head into the um, end. So, what we are going to do, I have got myself some books here. And while I was off getting geared up, I got myself an extra villager. Come here, friend. And our extra villager has Unbreaking. So, yeah, we're going to get ourselves an Unbreaking book. And we'll put the rest of these emeralds back away again. And we will grow ourselves a mending book from in here. And 
the very good reason for this is because then we have stuff to make ourselves an enchanted elytra as well. Now, obviously, I'm going to put some stuff back in here. I'm going to take the bed out of here, put this book in. I'm going to take the pumpkin, maybe. And we'll take some golden carrots out, and I'll put the other book in as well. And we're actually quickly going to sleep the nice way. Okay, so I've done a bit more work between cuts there. I did have get a distraction, and I had to step away for a minute. So, yeah, I, I, I left the bed down, and I got this fella. But it's fine. I don't really need him, but I thought I'd put him in a pot out of the way. Um, so what I've done, what I've done, I thought, what the hell, we'll grab some uh, arrows of healing. I don't know if they work on the dragon, but I'm going to guess they do. I've pulled the eyes of Ender out of my Ender chest, so we can use them to get ourselves over to the area of the dragon, being the stronghold. And I've put myself an anvil in, which is now slightly damaged, but it should be good to make ourselves an elytra. So, yeah, I think I'm pretty much set. I might get myself a bit more coal before we leave. Obviously, I've got myself some ender pearls in my pocket as well, because I wanted a bit of extra space. And I can always get more ender pearls when I get there, because, you know, it's the end after all. So, what we're going to do now, guys, I am going to get myself the last few bits together. I'm going to grab this. And I'm going to go grab my bed from upstairs, because that's no longer going to be our spawn point. We are going to set our spawn point in the stronghold. But we're going to quickly... Uh, okay, we can't sleep that way right now. Anything else I'm going to need in here. I do believe I don't need any of that. I've got a bit of iron left over. I could have made a brand new anvil. But it's fine. I don't really need it. So, I'm going to quickly sleep the night away. Just to get the night out of the way. We're going to grab ourselves our bed. And we're going to hop down. And I'm going to grab myself a few extra blocks. Just because. Okay, guys? Just because. Um, I don't think I've got enough wood on me. I honestly don't. So, if I do end up having to... pillar out to the end islands from where I am then I will need the extra wood but go quickly hop up here as well and get myself a bit of extra coal broken down and then we'll head out well we will head out I'll quickly uh, do this and I will cut back to you when I'm ready to leave alrighty so I got myself back up to a stack of coal which is quite nice and we are about ready to head out now it seems odd that Really, we're only just getting started in this world, and I'm about to end the series, but let's see where, in fact, we are going. Don't tell it's in this village. That'd be hilarious. That would be actually hilarious if it's in this village. I'm just going to hop back up here and get my Ender Pearl. My Eye of Ender, sorry. But apparently, it's this direction. Alright, so I've been travelling a little bit and I've actually hit more of a Mesa Biome. Um, now, Mesa Biomes don't generally have strongholds in them. That's a pretty good throw. That's a pretty good throw. So I get this funny feeling I'm going to have a very, very long way to travel. And I'm beginning to think I possibly could have even need to bring a boat with me because I get the funny feeling there might be ocean to travel across. Which would be hilarious, but eh, whatever. Oh, I was saying that, we're over at the other side of the Master Biome already. And there's a village just down there. So, I'm going to throw one more of these bad boys, which is throwing, throwing directly towards that village right there. And that one pops, great. Thank you for that game. Second one and two throws has popped on me. But, yeah, this village here, on the edge of the Master Biome, is probably where we're going. So, I'm going to quickly run to the centre of this village. Although there's another village just over there. So we've got a choice of two. They love putting them in villages though, guys. They do love putting them in the villages. This is actually a really nice seed. I might actually have to come back and do a proper world in this seed at some point. And if you guys do actually want the seed, the seed for this, then... You know, I'm more than happy to let you guys have the seed for this. Uh, no, we're not there yet. Oh, we might be at the centre of the village because the bell is there. Oh, you go back to me that time. Alright, so technically this is the centre of the village about here. 
and down it went. Okay, so we're here. We've made it. We're not far away. We're not far away at all. And um, we are here. So I guess let's get digging. And yes, I'm gonna do the sensible thing where we're actually technically still in the most of it. So this is actually first for me, guys. We've actually got a stronghold. Which breaks the edge of a mesa biome. And I have, for one, have never seen this before. I don't know if you guys have, but I've never seen it where you get a stronghold on the edge of a mesa. Unless this is one of them phantom strongholds that doesn't have a portal in it. Which, now I think about it, it's extremely possible. It is extremely possible for that to be the case. So, I am going to cut it here. I can hear a skeleton though. Hmm. I've still got to cut it here. I'll cut it here quickly and I will come back to you once I've at least found the stronghold. Alrighty guys, so here is where we dropped in to this lovely little cave here. I actually need more torches. There we go. It's nice. Apparently I have more torches on me. Fine. But yeah, here is where we dropped in to our cave. And here is where the stronghold happens to be. Now, I've got silk touch because I can break these blocks and not worry about the little silverfishy friends hopping out to say hello. Like this one here is a silverfish, but I got silver touch. It doesn't matter. And yeah, we're in the stronghold. So I'm gonna quickly do a bit of running around. Not massively bothered by the chests, although there are quite a few here. And I don't need anything out of there. But if I know anything about strongholds, I need to be coming somewhere downwards to climb myself the ah, portal room. So yeah, I'm not bothered about oh nothing down this one. Fine. Bit of a dodgy cave looking thing. But yeah, there's not much area wise down here at the moment. There's another cave there, don't care about the caves. Don't care about the jail cells. Nothing down here. We'll go back up then. So, oh, we've got a staircase. This is, this is good. And yeah, just a heads up, guys. When I find the silverfish spawner, it will be getting destroyed. That's the first thing I'll be doing is breaking that thing. Because we don't need silverfish. We don't need them at all, guys. Ah, there we go. So, we'll just block that bit off of there. We're not going to explore any further than we actually need to. Going to quickly run in and break that before anything can spawn and we've got kind of lucky we got two already in place so that's not too bad going to uh, dispose of all the, the lava stuff we don't really need the lava so we're going to get rid of it because well we don't need it what's the point and I will just load up the torches and I will end the video there. Uh, I'm going to block myself in, obviously. Obviously. And I will await your comments. I'm not going to light the portal to the next episode. I said the goal of this episode was to find the stronghold. We have found a stronghold. So we are here. I will block myself in somewhat better than I have currently done. So as previously stated, guys, I am not going to go any further than this today. I'm going to end the episode right about here. So if you've enjoyed the episode today, then obviously hit the like button. If you really loved it, hit that subscribe button. And if you have anything else you would like me to take to the end, anything at all, that you think I might find useful. Now, obviously, it's only stuff that I currently have. And I can get back to base if needed. I just have to go back to find my way back out and all that good stuff. So it's possible. So leave your comments down below, guys. If you want me to go get the elytra before I fight the dragon, I'll do it. It's going to take me a lot of effort, but I have the blocks necessary to do so. I didn't bring a stone cutter with me, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at all. And I'll end it, I'll end it there, guys. Thanks so much for watching now. Bye-bye.